Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again and this time we're back for a manga review and in this one we are covering volumes 5, 6 and 7 of Yu Yu Hakusho So starting off with volume 5, uh, the key cast characters that stand out uh, that are uh, in this are uh, Yusuke, Kurama, Hiei, Kurabara, and of course Genkei, or Genkai. Uh, one of the key places that they go to is the Demon Palace, as they seek to recover a whistle, an important whistle, which was taken from the underworld. Um, the three main areas that stand out in this is uh, we get to see Kurabara take on a couple of the challenges to which lead them into the tower which there are many great risks then after that he gets a bit of limelight or gets into the spotlight and takes on the challenger within the demon tower which leaves it open for Yusuke to take on the next challenger uh, after Yusuke moves on to take on the next challenger he returns to Genkai to which he actually gains more training so nice and quick on this one let's move on to the next volume as we move on to volume 6 the key cast of characters that stand out in this are Yusuke, Kurabara, Kurma, Keiko, Toguro, and Hiei. Um, in this, Yusuke and Kurabara encounter a villain um, connected to sort of like, again, more of the underworld, the spiritual underworld. And within the next part, we've got Toguro starts to come into the picture and becomes basically Yusuke's rivals in this time. And it really stands out as to what happens. And then as we move on to the third part of this area, we get the beginning of where the Dark Tournament arc begins. Now, going over story, art and rating for just those last two volumes, 8.5 out of 10 for each, including this one. As we move on to volume 7, um, we now have Team Urameshi, which is made up of Yusuke, Kurabara, Hiei, and of course Genkai. I think I'm missing one. Kurama, Yusuke, Kurabara, Hiei, and Genkai. Yep, they're the main ones that are now part of Team Urameshi. And they go against a group called the Jolly Devil Six, to which one of the members is actually Rinku. He's sort of like their fifth background choice. And they end up making a bit of a friend out of him. And you don't see much of this character until a little bit later on. So as the... Dark Tournament begins, we've got the competitors, and they give Team Urameshi quite, quite a bit of a challenge. And then, until finally the second round begins, Kurma returns to check on Yusuke's progress. And there's a bit of a bonus story at the end. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers as you help make this channel possible. Until then, 
let's keep it colorful.